What's happening, guys? It is Quick Tip Tuesday. So have you ever had this problem where you've got some iPhone footage that looks like this? You watch it in QuickTime or just, you know, in Explorer or Finder. It looks fine. It looks great. But then you dump it in the DaVinci Resolve. Then you drop it into your timeline. And then it looks like this. It's all washed out. And you're like, what is going on here? It looks fine on my phone. Looks fine if I look, in, look at it in QuickTime. What is going on here? So you need to use a color space transform to get this footage back in the spot where it should be inside of DaVinci Resolve. Let's jump on the computer, check this out. So before you even jump into Resolve, one thing that you can do to check the color profile of your footage is to just click on your clip and I'm in Finder here on a Mac, but you can go to get info or properties or, or either way. But right down here it says uh, color profile and it's using BT. 2020 HGL. So you want to remember that. Now it should be similar to mine. I think my iPhone is the iPhone 13 Pro. So if yours is the same thing, then you can do exactly what I'm doing in this video, but you can double check your color profile right there. Now let's jump back into Resolve. So in Resolve, I have my timeline here. I'm in the edit tab. My footage is in the timeline here, but look at it. It's it's too bright. It's like washed out looking. Now, why is that? We need to use a color space transform node to get DaVinci Resolve to show the footage the same way as we see it on like our iPhone. So going from the edit tab, I'm going to jump over into the color tab right here. Click on that. Now I did reset my UI layout just so that way we could be looking at the same thing. So workspace up here at the top of the screen, come down to reset UI layout and you're gonna see the exact same thing that I'm seeing. So what I need to do is open up my nodes right here and I'm gonna go ahead and create a new node using option or alt on a PC. S, that's gonna make a new node. Make sure you've got your effects open right here and I wanna come down to color space transform which is this guy right here. So I'm just gonna drag this and drop it onto my node number two. So in the color space transform settings, we want to go to input color space. We want to change that down to rec 2020. Then we want to look at the input gamma. We're going to go ahead and change that to right here, rec 2100 HLG. Then you want to scroll down to where it says gamut mapping method. You change that to saturation compression and you notice it's still a little bit bright. So I'm going to create a new node and I'm actually just going to come in my uh, curves here darken it down a little bit and there you go we should be all set to go and it looks pretty good looks pretty good looks pretty close to what our original footage was when we watch it on our iphone or we watch it here in QuickTime. there you go guys a little color space transform here on your iphone footage it's going to get it back looking the way it does on your phone when you look at it here or if you look at it in QuickTime or something like that this is going to get it pretty close you can always make a few little more changes there in the color tab if you need to tweak things just a little bit sweeten it put a little sauce on there and you'll be good to go all right guys that wraps up this quick tip tuesday thank you for watching and uh, i look forward to seeing you guys in the next one peace